it, we had some storms last night, and this foxtail palm got blown down on top of all the things I had just picked up to do the fall planters with. So that's fantastic. <laughs> What's up, garden friends? Jeff, your tropical plant party. How's everybody doing? I hope you're good. I am great. Been planting some things up over here. This video was supposed to have been out by now. But the weather and the cicadas just that they haven't been behaving. It's so quiet out. It's like the quietest it's been in days. The cicadas have gotten to a point which normally it's like somewhat tranquil and calm and I enjoy it. But <laughs> the past few days, like even in the house, like having to turn the volume up on the TV because they're so obnoxiously loud. Made it kind of hard to film videos. That's why there hasn't been anything out this week. So sorry about that. Other than the planters, the fall planters. I would like to do a Fern Friday video, but um, don't have time. I don't think it's going to happen this week with the weather and whatnot. You can see the power went out, so need to... The I had the bottom of this hole. I put a little plastic in there. Apparently it wasn't quite enough. Look down, it's still like halfway full, but I don't see reason to bother with that. This palm tree's fallen forward and Lots of things to tidy and clean up, and I don't know if I'm going to bother. <laughs> I mean, I'll get around to it. It's not like I'm just going to leave it that way forever, but it's supposed to start raining and storming again in like half an hour, so eh. I'm going to say I do have some errands I need to run. Oh, we've got some... The fruits are starting to come back in on the Calamondon. That's nice. Neither here nor there, though. Hey, Tuck. You good boy. Yeah, you good boy. Because this weekend I have baby shower, which I've never been to before, and a birthday. So I need to get wrapping paper and presents and cake and all that fun stuff. I didn't realize there's like specific wrapping paper for a baby shower or just, I guess basically all I have is birthday and Christmas paper. So I need to get something special for that. I do have an update over here with the magnolia tree. I've noticed this area is where all of the flies hang out. Like, they're always all over the ground. It's kind of weird. You may recall that I thought that there was, like, a white flight issue some time ago because there was this sooty mold on everything. I saw a few little bugs, so I handled it with neem, and it seemed okay, but it was, like, you know, from here and down. But the flies and ants and uh, wasps, like, they love the pavement over here, which is odd, right? So, like, there must be something on the pavement which must be coming from the magnolia tree. So I got up in here, started looking around. See anything? Anything look like it shouldn't other than the black leaves? Anything standing out? How about now? Look at that, magnolia scale, which is a huge pain to treat. It's a type of scale common on magnolias. I don't, I've never had to deal with it before. I've only read about it a few times, but from what I understand, a systemic needs to go down early August. It's late August. That white coating is what's on the females, and um, I got out from underneath there. I'm sorry. I hope you don't mind, but it, was, it just felt kind of gross in there. But there's like a white coating on the females, and that's a waxy coating. starts to come off at the end of the month, and then the babies come out. And you can kind of see in here, maybe that some of them are already shedding that waxy coating. Is it going to focus? I am not putting my hand behind there. Yeah, see how it's coming off? So the systemic needs to be like running through the tree and <laughs> doing its thing before that happens. But I'm gonna do it anyways. So from what I'm understanding, I read like a big thing from uh, Michigan State University to treat with a systemic that contains imidacloprid and then uh, and to, the, to do that in early August, which I already kind of missed the boat on, and then <laughs> to use um, dormant oils in the fall, which I can do. And uh, they were good about talking about pollinator issues, so the risk is that putting a systemic on here in the springtime could be harmful to pollinators because these magnolias flash out, flash out, that flushes out with pink flowers. However, 
Mine always prematurely flowers, and then Frost takes the flowers off. So I'm not as worried about that. But from what everything was saying in the article, it doesn't seem like a uh, late summer fall application of a systemic really affects them too much when it comes to the following spring for the pollinators. So that's a good thing. Ultimately, I'd like to just cut it down, not because it has nothing to do with the scale. I've just wanted to cut it down for years. It's too big for the spot. It doesn't fit in here. It needs to go. But I'm going to go ahead and treat for it because, I mean, I've done enough tree cutting with trees that have died from storms and whatnot this year. I don't really feel like taking on another tree that's seemingly, I mean, not healthy, but I want to give it a chance and see what happens because it'll probably be here for a few more years until I get around to cutting it down because I will want to put something else in its place. So yeah, that's a project for another time. So I need to go get a systemic. Probably, I think, the bear. And here's why you don't leave vines grown on your palm trees. Storm snapped my palm fronds. So that's no good. I mean, this has been covered in hummingbirds and butterflies, so, and honeybees, which is fantastic. And, oh, oh, what are you? You pretty. Oh, yeah. Anyways, I do have to make sure to keep these things pulled, though, because the way these work with this vine, these dry and pop open like a milkweed, which is one of the names for this is a milkweed vine, and the seeds go everywhere. So I do have to keep it trimmed to a level where I can remove these. <laughs> I'm going to have to redirect it off of this vine, or off of this palm tree. I'll put it, I'll, I don't know where, I mean, I'll put some sticks in the ground. I don't know, I'm going to figure that one out later. I think I may have referred to this as a morning glory vine in last week's video. I didn't, it's milkweed vine, that's what I meant to say. Okay, I'm going to get cleaned up and let's go shopping and get the potting soil from under my nails. I hate that, I hate hate having dirt under my nails. doesn't bother me when I'm planting things, but you know, when I'm not... Ew, I just finished this though, so that's that's what's going on there. See, it's mostly Christmas paper, birthday paper. I don't think I have anything for a baby shower. The camel paper over here, this would be perfect because the person this is going to loves camels, but I mean, it's not really very baby shower-ish. And um, <laughs> it went kind of heavy on the presents, so I need to get a lot of paper. What you doing? Did you find a new toy? Well, that's a new spot. Looking pretty cute, Bookin. Like a little monorail kitty. Oh, you cutie butt. I was leaving and realized I don't have my sunglasses. Not that I necessarily need them, but, you know, the sun might come out, and then I'll really regret not having them. See that? The nighttime temps have been cool enough that the burning bushes are changing over. Too soon. They don't know. It's not their fault. What the heck is that? Little mini green silo? I'm sure Michael's isn't like the first place to go for wrapping paper, but I have a coupon. So I was like, I might as well give it a shot. I just, I don't I really don't want to go to Walmart or Target if I don't have to. So there, there's that. I don't understand people who don't speed up to get on the highway. I don't, I don't understand you. you speed up, you don't slow down. That doesn't make any sense. Just kidding, take your time, better safe than sorry. See, grabbed, <laughs> glad I grabbed my sunglasses cause it's misty, but it's kind of sunny sometimes. I cannot believe even early in the morning, Top Golf still jam packed. Well, I can't believe it. Top Golf is a lot of fun. Yeah, so at Michael's, you guys ever use these Listerine ready tabs? I really like them. I'm not a fan of the Xylitol though. Because they're like, oh, sugar-free, but they're xylitol. Which, I mean, it's not necessarily bad for you, but it doesn't always process well for some people. I actually haven't had that. It can cause inflammation in the gut, that's all. But, man, fresh breath. Like, super fresh breath. I mean, I just brushed my teeth, so I probably don't need it. But it just feels nice. I'm going to try to vlog while I'm in there, but, um, <laughs> sorry. Probably shouldn't have popped one of those in my mouth right while I'm talking to everybody. Um, yeah, sometimes the music's kind of loud in there, so we'll see what happens. I'm sure there'll be lots of fall stuff in there. If there is, I will show you, even though I'm not thrilled about it. <sighs> Buy one, get one free on six foot tall scarecrows. How much? Yes, $600. Wow, that's a lot. And how much are these little guys? Or 14. And sorry, that's way cuter. Okay, lots of fall. These are interesting. 
cool little fillers, nice texture. Pretty fake corn. <laughs> so the problem is when I come into Michael's, all I see are planters. Like immediately, I'm just like, okay, gonna drill a hole in the bottom of this and put some lemon coral sedum in there. That'd be so pretty. It'd look like foam coming out the top or dichondra or even alyssum. Oh, so many options. Oh, they're kind of cute. Like I was like, ew, fall. But then Halloween, I'm like, yeah. I don't... Something doesn't seem quite right with that one. I don't know how I feel about it. Seems... You probably get it. Yeah. I like the jack-o'-lantern. <sighs> That's kind of expensive. I mean, I was kind of expecting that, though. But... Oh, look at that. Beautiful. I have so much hollow paper at home, though. I can't buy that. The baby shower? I feel like it needs to be pink. It's a girl. Not that I'm into reinforcing gender stereotypes, but it's a baby shower, so, you know, come on. This is six dollars, and there's, like, nothing in there. I might have to go somewhere else. Man, is that it? I figured there'd be so much more with it, you know, being Michaels and things having themes and occasions. That's not enough. <laughs> I was like, oh, good, this'll do. <laughs> That's a tablecloth. <laughs> Not that I'm above wrapping something in a tablecloth. Oh, cute. Put a cactus in there. That would be adorable. Oh, no. Oh, I just remembered something. Like, a year ago after my sister's wedding, I started a video. I was drying the flowers from the wedding, and I said, okay, I'll be back in 30 days, or how long it takes them to dry. I just remembered I never finished that. They're still sitting in a tub somewhere in the garage. Well, that could be an interesting video. What do flowers look like when you leave that stuff for a year? Okay, guys, they're having a major fountain sale. Though I don't see absolutely any reason why any of these would ever be justifiably $120. However, $30, that's not too bad. Oh, can I get a baby a spirograph? It's got lots of little pieces in there for it to play with. Oh, that would be for me. Yeah, Michael's, that Michael's was a waste of time. I don't know why I thought they'd have wrapping paper that would be appropriate. Not Sam's, because sometimes they have really nice flowers. And I do a flower arrangement for my mom. That might be nice. Also, I got on my phone, so I was like, why don't I just order wrapping paper off Amazon? It'll be here tomorrow if I do that. And all the stuff that was coming up was for Hallmark, and I'm pretty sure... There's a Hallmark in the strip mall somewhere, so I just do that. Isn't Hallmark kind of pricey, though? I don't know. Maybe it's not. Yeah, it was way too crowded to film in there. I got nice flowers, though. This vase, oh, it feels it feels like it's going to break at any minute. But it was like $8.99, $9.99, and I needed something really big, so there's a lot of flowers there. I'm obviously going to arrange these. I'm <laughs> just going to leave them like that, but that's all I was in there for. Just got some flowers. Pretty cheap, too. I mean, it added up. But it's still cheaper than what this would cost from a florist. And it's for my mom, so I don't even care. Yeah, I completely forgot about... <laughs> um, ooh! That's a fun color. Sorry, easily distracted. I completely forgot about Hallmark. I'm on my way to Home Goods. They have good wrapping paper there. Also, very good pizza. Very, very, very good. Oh, Whole Foods. There's also a Starbucks over here. I'm not gonna get coffee, though. I'm behaving today. I could get a tea. No, I don't need a tea. That's not necessary. I've had enough caffeine. Oh, are the swans out? I won't know until later, because I'm driving. I was unlucky, but sometimes there's swans over there. Look at this parking spot! I'm right out front. How nice. This thing is always in the way with the vlogging. Oh. That's very, very fall. The nighttime temperatures have been so cool that it's tricking a lot of the plants. I think we already, we already talked about that. Okay, the music in here is way too loud for vlogging and it's super crowded, but look at, look at how cute these are. It's only 22 bucks. It says outdoor. Nicole Miller, I don't, I don't know Nicole. This doesn't look like it would last outdoors very long. Mm, there's a plastic liner in there, but that's not synthetic in between the synthetic stuff. So I, don't, I don't know, but it's cute. Okay, my mom is obsessed with nutcrackers. This might be the perfect thing to get her. I kind of want it though. That's really cute. Also, mm -mm. 
Oh, I love these. Are these cute? They have a whole bunch. These Mexican pottery jack-o'-lanterns. It's not time though. Cute. Oh. Oh, that is so pretty. I love this. I really want to fill his mouth with succulents. Okay, I remembered. I need a bath mat and look at look at what they have. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful but unnecessary. This smells horrible. Why? It smells like pot. Why does it smell like that? Oh, please. Oh, FaceTiming. I was like, <laughs> please tell me it's not what I look like when I walk around vlogging. When he was over there, there was a lot of gesticulation. Is that the word? Just, just, just you know, hand movements. Okay, that home goods is so tiny and so crowded, like you couldn't even get multiple people in an aisle at a time. So I was like, I have to get out of here. It was just, it wasn't good for my soul. I was struggling in there, anxiety wise. It was too much for me. But I did find those nutcrackers, which is fantastic. And then, uh, which I feel weird buying Halloween stuff this time of year, but it's a gift. She loves nutcrackers and um, that, uh, what was the other point? Oh, if I don't get them now, like, they'll be gone. Everything sells out by the time it's time to buy things for the holidays. Wrapping paper though. The wrapping papers, they keep the wrapping paper by the checkout in there, which I absolutely hate because you can't look at it until you're paying. So you have like 10 seconds to pick something out. None of it was appropriate. There's a target here. I don't want to go, but I will. I feel so lazy. I debated driving over there and finding a parking spot, but that seems kind of ridiculous. It's right there. I'll just, let's, let's go to Target. Oh, but I did get a flower pot while I was in there. That is just stunning. Two of them. I don't actually know if they're flower pots, but that's what I'm going to be using them for. I'll show those when I get back to the house. Oh, good thing came to Target. I need cards too. I need birthday card, baby shower card. No, they said in lieu of cards, bring children's books. I need to go find a children's book. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, not for my mom. This is a pathetic selection. Baby shower? I don't know. I'm sure I'm putting way too much thought into this. I've never been to a baby shower before. I don't know what to use. <sighs> this is very discouraging. I mean, I've got that one thing of wrapping paper. I don't, they have like a section of baby shower stuff, but no wrapping paper. I'm prop. I guess I'm probably spending way too much thought on this. I did see a pregnant lady and I almost asked her like, hey, where's the department for your people? I don't know what I'm doing. Keep thinking of gifts for the baby, but that's not necessary because I already got swapped the red still yet. How cute and tiny that is. Oh, fun. That is unnecessarily adorable. Oh, it comes in blue? <laughs> Look at the tiny little food processor. Oh wait, I have that. That's the appropriate tequila for baby showers. I don't really care how dumb this makes me sound. I did not think they still had books at the stores. <laughs> All my readings on the computer, this seems necessary. Okay, it's a girl, so where's the... Uh, I'm gonna, like, be a doctor or lawyer books. Only the princess stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cute. They have like Goodnight Moon and all the classics. Do they have them in big sizes? Oh, ooh, giraffes. Because my friend who's having the baby is terrified of giraffes. I don't know, something about the proportions always bugged her. <laughs> I was thinking I should get a stuffed giraffe and like cut its head off and cut its neck off and sew its head back onto its, like make it proportional. That would be funny. Um. <laughs> <laughs> then imagine the reaction when <laughs> baby's big enough or toddler goes to the zoo and sees what a draft really looks like. <laughs> That'd be funny. Oh, that's sad. Okay, hey, very intrigued by these. I think those are too old for babies, though. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, this is that. It's amazing. Kind of want that for myself. Oh, there's some good stuff here. Yep, don't mind me, guys. Take your time, do your thing. The person behind me is probably like, what the heck, why is he going so slow? It's not me, it's the geese. Look how pretty the landscaping is here. Isn't that gorgeous? The bananas and the begonias, where are you going? Oh my goodness, people today. Okay, I found a Hallmark, but it looks empty. I'm, it is empty. Again, 
probably over thinking this completely. I just want the presents to look pretty and not stupid. That's all. I bet this is why people traditionally only have one baby shower, right? You only do the one baby shower because it's such a pain in the butt for people to find wrapping paper for your gifts. That's what I'm thinking. No, I'm not as clueless as I'm acting, but it's still, like, come on. Yeah, but here, you guys, let's have a look at the plant. Uh, or maybe not. Plants are gone. <laughs> Should have just started here. That's cute enough. No, you better stay away from those. Especially those lilies. Those aren't for you. It's not good for pumpkins. It's not good for pumpkins, pumpkin. Goodness, there's a lot of flowers here. Probably get around to arranging those in the morning. It's not how I plan on spending my Thursday evening. I mean, it's my own fault. I was being a little too picky about the wrapping paper. But I needed to go everywhere I went anyways. Walmart, I only went there for the wrapping paper, but I had to go to all the other places, so it didn't really matter. Well, I didn't really have to go to Michael's, but I'm glad I did. So for now, these are just, these are just going in water. I need to recuperate a little bit. Well, that came out like effortlessly beautiful. I didn't trim the stems though. It's not ready yet. I was just like, this is a rough draft. I should have just trimmed the stems and I would have been done with it. Well, this is essentially what this is going to look like, but I need to cut the stems. And I'd like to find some type of sprays to have coming out of there. But, I mean, really, this is pretty nice as it is. Just needs some fluffing and tidying. And it's just that, man, that was easy. Okay. Time to wrap things. Well, not the vlog. I'll be back later. Mm, I need a helper. I don't know what I'm doing. The invite said to bring books in lieu of a card. So I was thinking I have this pretty like sparkly paper here and I could wrap the book and I'm gonna use two boxes. So this is one thing I'm gonna put all these little things that were very hard to wrap because they're all baby things are in soft packages. I didn't have any boxes I could put them in. Figured I'd put those in that box. And then wrap the books and put them on top and like do a ribbon situation, right? Sounds pretty, doesn't it? Problem is this paper, it's not paper, it's like film, which I didn't realize and I don't know how to wrap this when it doesn't have a solid edge. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking like, I can just put the book on there. It's fine. It doesn't matter. I mean, it would look prettier, I'm sure, if I did the other way. But I don't even know how to do ribbon wrapping. I'm thinking like, since there's a little bit of a learning curve, I need to baby step my way into this. Also, this paper is looking much more birthday-y, birthday-ish, birthday-like than I thought it would. But I'm I'm fine with it. It's okay. That's, there's so much reflection on it. Yeah, but that's nice. That's what I wanted. So, I don't know. I need to grow... Oh my gosh. Well, that's embarrassing. Let me point it out on camera. Sometimes you just don't see anything. Sometimes I just don't see things when it's not, like, right in, through the camera. I'm seeing... Yes, those are Easter decorations. And the truth be told, I'm out there, like, all the time. That's where I am. So, I just... I didn't see it. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. It's my problem. Not yours. It's gonna be okay mostly trying to reassure myself here i'm putting the thing is so here's the backstory the person who's getting these gifts like wraps the most beautiful presents ever during the holidays when we all get together and exchange gifts like hers are like works of art and then there's mine and i spent a while on those too but like i said the packages were soft and i should have been holding on to little boxes in preparation for this but it's fine doesn't matter, it's getting torn off of there anyway, so who cares? I don't know if I like it. I've never done ribbon wrapping before. This one I was kind of able to get a bow on. The video I watched was very useful, but the person was using, like, fabric, and this just, it doesn't want to stay. I gave up on the bow on that one, it just wasn't happening. Like, this, I'd pull it tight and it was just coming right apart, so I just curled it. I think... I could add more and add more curl, which would look nice, but I need to make sure I have enough ribbon for this box and that box, because all this stuff is going in there. So this is, I know it has nothing to do with gardening. This is, did I should I should have said this like half an hour ago. <laughs> it's just a hangout vlog. It's a vlog. It's what's happening in life right now. So that's it. I don't know. I'm going to give this a shot. It's not, you know, don't come here to learn how to wrap things. That's never, it's never going to be my thing. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. 
I am a wrapping paper champion. Wrapping paper, present wrapping chip. I've wrapped presents before. I've never done the ribbon thing before. Around the gift, though, I like that. It's a nice touch. Added some little extra stringy stuff in there. I thought it was a bit much, so I didn't do that on the other one, but it's done. And this, it's a little bit loose, though. Remember, first time here. But I think it'll be fine. It doesn't have to go very far. Punkin really had fun when I was doing the strings. That was very entertaining for her. <sighs> okay, easy. That only took like um 45 minutes. Wish I could say I was joking. I mean, you know, that start to finish, like getting all the gifts out and organizing them and getting the gift receipts organized and then getting them wrapped and then cleaning up and the whole thing. It's still, I know, excessively long, but I want it to look pretty and I mean, it kind of does. I like it. The paper is much more rainbowy on camera. In person, it's just like, there's like a lilac dot, a teal dot, a pink dot, and these sort of greenish ones, but I keep seeing like pops of red and copper coming through on the, it's fine. It's done. It's done, and that's all I care about. All right, Pumpkin? Was that fun? Yeah, it was fun, wasn't it, Pumpkin? Got to play with tape and string. I took the tape away from her, but she kept getting it. Okay, I also managed to find time to film a Fern Friday, so need to handle that. It's been kind of a busy day. I mean, I enjoy it though, so it's good stuff. Do you guys get the Plant Delights catalogs? I don't get many catalogs anymore, but this, this company, fantastic. I don't know if I can show that artwork, but they have very good descriptions, plants that are not as commonly available. I mean, I do all my ordering online, but it's one of the few places I'm like, no, still send me your catalogs because I like reading the stuff they put in there. That was actually, I think, one of the first plant catalogs I ever got was from Plant Delights. Like I said, I probably shouldn't show the artwork, and then I just leave it there. Shouldn't, <laughs> shouldn't show the address either. There we go. That's better. Um, great company. Check them out, plantdelights.com. Really good selection of stuff. They're a botanical and... Very, very, very knowledgeable people. I know it's pretty much impossible to see, but you, that big brown lump there, that's a great big bullfrog. I don't know why it's so dark. I'll zoom back out. Not that that's going to help any, but that was just a terrible picture. I knew that there was a frog in those lily pads because something's been making bubbles come up out of everything. And uh, the, the lily pads look like they're being disturbed and dug up. I mean, he can stay. This is his nature, too. His life. But I wish he wouldn't mess with my water lilies. I mean, he's, like, black. I've never seen a bullfrog that dark before. But it's a bullfrog. I can see his little bullfrog legs. Huh. Cool. Try and get a little bit closer, but it's a frog. You know what? Nope, didn't. Wait. I don't think that was a bullfrog. Excuse me, frog friend. Where'd you go? Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to disturb it too much. Uh, yeah, I don't think that was a... Might have just been a really dark toad. Did you see when it jumped how, like... That was a little bit too chunky, and those legs are a little bit too stout to be a bullfrog. I like how quickly subjects change around here. Isn't that beautiful? Poppy pod? I love poppy pod. The lotus pod. So pretty. Mm-hmm. Back in the house. I <laughs> thought I was done. But this just came in the mail. It said it wouldn't be here till like September. So I was like, hey, there's something I don't have to wrap. No, no, positivity, something I get to wrap, not have to. This is fun. Practice. Yay. You being a helper, Bunkin? You being my helper? Not so much. She had a lot of fun attacking the tape and the ribbon, which I ran out of ribbon. So couldn't do anything with this one, but it's fine. I think I've spent enough time talking about wrapping presents. Oh, those lilies smell absolutely heavenly. I can smell them all the way upstairs. And look at how much everything's already opening up. I didn't think they would respond to being put in clean, <laughs> fresh water so quickly, but I guess this is a bit of an upgrade from the refrigerator at Sam's. Notice how I have them far away. Can't, can't get to them. Those are green onions. It's not a pl I mean, it's a plant, but like I buy them and I keep them in water and I keep cutting off of them. And it's probably time to switch them out. They're not looking too good. Yeah, pretty. And completely out of reach of my pumpkin. 
Yeah, baby girl. He's such a good girl. Oh, focus problems. He can good girl with me and my camera. There we go. That's better. You got an eye boogie on my finger. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. There's a little bit of kitty time for everybody. Oh. I swear, I feel my blood pressure drop when I'm stressed out and I'm around my cat. And my dog. And my birds. <laughs> Mostly my cat. It's okay, Pumpkin. It's just Toby. Good girl. Oh, and before I forget, remember those pots I was talking about that I got from Home Goods? Look at, aren't they pretty? They're so pretty. They're like rainbowy, multi-chrome pineapples. I don't know. Just is not intended for use with food or candles, but they're pretty. I'll have to draw a hole in the bottom. Some insides very reflective. They make me so happy. They're more purple in person. But yeah, that's. All I got as far as like plant stuff goes, and again, I don't, it says it's not intended for candles or food. So I assume it's for plants, or maybe really, really big girthy pencil holders, toothbrushes, I don't know, but I'm definitely putting plants in there. I'm thinking like, actually, I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe it's just some little succulents or something. I don't know. I'm going to get some holes drilled in the top of these and do something with those. Maybe in a future video, or um, next weekend's vlog. Who knows? Just kind of going with the flow right now. It's been a very busy week, and I only vlogged just today, really, because it's the only time I had to vlog. I gotta go, though. I have to go pick something from the airport, and then I have my mom's birthday tomorrow, baby shower, baseball game, and it's gonna be a busy few days, so I'm wrapping things up, keeping it a little bit more short, but I almost, like, wasn't sure I was gonna be able to vlog, period. So, still got to go around, run some errands, and chaotic, but you know, that's the way things go over here sometimes. Because that's also just life in general sometimes. These guys, I expect them to be a little bit wilty. It's been a while. I think they're okay. Oh, one last thing. Look at all of these awesome Asclepius I just picked up. I got these from Lowe's, and they're only $6.98 a pot. And that's not bad for the two broses. They're hard to find, at least where I live, in like gallon size, good size pots that are nice, sturdy, well developed plants with good roots on them. That's important with the two broses for them to have a good root structure when you're planting them because they don't, at least typically, they don't always transplant that well. <laughs> they don't take their roots being torn up very well. Anyways, and I've wanted the orange variety, and all I've been able to find around are the yellows. So, I'm happy with that, and that's a whole bunch of milkweeds. So there's going to be some happy monarchs out here. The monarchs have been everywhere, so they'll be happy about that. I have a lot of other milkweed, so this is just adding to the menagerie of milkweed. I think it's going to pair well with some purple plants, like maybe some caryopteris, something like that. I don't know. I just wanted the milkweed. I've been looking around for some orange tuberoses for a while. Okay, I'm actually going to wrap things up, though. I could keep on talking and talking and talking forever. You know how that goes over here. But I still have to edit the video and all the stuff I already talked about. So, thanks for hanging out. Hopefully there's some entertainment in there. I don't know. I haven't put anything together yet. Hope everything's going great. Everything's wonderful. Life's just beautiful for you. I have my social media link down below. I'll be doing some more stuff this week. Well, I guess next week. The week after this vlog comes out. There'll be some more stuff going on out here. I have a little bit more time some projects and planters want to get working on. So uh, I'm on Instagram. Far more anything else, that's the best place to follow me. Hey, and if you give the video a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. It makes a big difference for the videos and for the channels. Thank you. And subscribe as well. And hit that notification bell. Upload multiple times a week, and that way you'll know when new videos come out. And as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.